Dear students, welcome back. This is the tenth lecture. We have started solving problem set one. Sums one to five I have given you homework. Six sum we have solved in the last lecture, lecture number nine. This is the seventh sum. Given thing in triangle ABC, segment DE is parallel to side AB. DE is parallel to AB. AD is five. DC is three, and BC is six point four. We have to find BE. In advance, I have written BE to be equal to X. We have assumed, so AC will be six point four minus X. So in the solution, what we will write? In the solution, we will write let BE equal to let BE be equal to X. therefore bc is equal to be plus ac because b dash e dash c bc is given 6.4 b we have assumed x so we get ac how much is ac x if you bring to this side it will be 6.4 minus x that's why i have written A C to be equal to six point four minus x. Now you know that in a triangle, one line is parallel to a side of the triangle, and that line divides the two sides in distinct point. That's that means we have to apply the basic proportionality theorem. Therefore, we write therefore in triangle A B C, okay, D E is parallel to side A B. This is given. So we apply basic proportionality theorem. According to the basic proportionality theorem, we have AD upon DC. AD upon DC is equal to BE upon EC. It is a basic proportionality theorem. Put values five upon three x upon six point four minus x. Cross multiply. Five into six point four is five four is a twenty zero two carried six five is a thirty plus two thirty two thirty two point zero that is thirty two thirty two minus five x is equal to three x therefore thirty two is equal to five x which is carried to the right hand side plus three x three x is already there. So we have thirty-two is equal to eight x. So thirty-two upon eight is equal to x. Value of x is equal to four. We can cut this eight for the thirty-two. Therefore, x is nothing but b e because we assumed x to be equal to b e. Therefore, b e is equal to four units. This is how, like, we can use basic proportionality theorem to find out one segment. Now, some number. Eight. In this sum, um, it is said that seg PA, seg QB, seg RC, seg SD all are perpendicular to line AD. It is written AB is sixty. This segment is sixty. BC is seventy. CD is eighty. Here all the three segments are given. While PS, the entire segment PS is two eighty. We have to find. Lengths of PQ, QR, and RS. PQ, QR, and RS, which make all three together make PS two eighty. We have to find individual length. Now we can recall the property of three parallel lines and the transversal. We know that when we draw many perpendicular lines to a same line, then all those perpendicular lines are parallel to each other. So what we will write? We will write. Seg PA, seg QB, seg RC, and seg SD, seg SD, all are perpendicular. Are perpendiculars to perpendiculars drawn to. 
line AD which is given this is given therefore therefore all of them will be parallel therefore sec PA will be parallel to sec QB will be parallel to sec RC all will be parallel to each other because all are perpendicular to the same line ok what is the reason property of property of parallel lines what is the property you have studied in 900 when two or more lines are drawn perpendicular to the same line then they all are parallel to each other so we see that all these are parallel lines now what we will do is we will use the property of three parallel lines and the transversal ok consider any three parallel lines out of these four let us consider line PA parallel to line QB parallel to line SD ok therefore consider we write consider line PA parallel to line QB parallel to line parallel to line SD we have not considered this this line RC ok now when these are parallel lines and these are the transversals ok then by property of three parallel lines and their transversal what we can write the ratio SQ to QP SQ to QP is equal to the ratio DB to BA DB upon BA reason property of three parallel lines right full forms and their transversals their transversals now we put the values ok or otherwise first you know we will do the component of property according to the component what we can write SQ plus QP upon QP is equal to DB plus BA upon BA ok this is by component so according to the component ok when we add this what we will get SQ plus QP SQ plus QP gives you SP yeah, to PS so we write PS upon QP QP is nothing but PQ so I will write PQ same it is QP and PQ DB and BA when added we get AD and uh, BA is nothing but AB ok I will prefer to write AB ok reason is S dash Q dash P and D dash P dash A because of this what we will get now you know PS value of PS is 280 280 upon what is PQ PQ we do not know so I will write PQ is equal to AD AD I can get by adding all these three ok so it is uh, AB plus BC plus CD upon I do not know AB ok now what I will get what I will get in the next step I will write 280 upon PQ is equal to AB is 60 which is given BC is 70 which is given and CD is 80 which is also given divided by AB ok so this is by given the reason is given so in the next step I will rub this I will write here ok given already you know so I have written here 280 upon PQ is equal to sum of all this is 210 upon 60 because AB is given to be equal to 60 so in, on cross multiplying we get PQ PQ is equal to 280 into 60 upon 210 what I will do is I will cut this 0 and this 0 and this 0 now I have 21 and 28 which are divisible by 7 7 3's are 21 7 4's are 28 3 and 60 I can cut 3 1's are 3 3 20's are 60 so what is PQ therefore length PQ will be equal to 4 multiplied by 20 which is equal to 80 units so first segment 
the length of first segment we got and that is PQ. PQ is equal to 8 units. Now, I will write here, I will remove this part. Okay. So, now I got PQ to be equal to 80. You know, PS is total PS is 280. Okay. So, how will you write now? Now, now PS is sum of PS is sum of if you see PS is sum of PQ and QS. So, I will write PQ plus QS. The reason is P dash Q dash S. Okay. Now, PS is 280. 280 is equal to PQ plus QS. Okay. PQ we already got 80. 80 plus QS. Therefore, how much is QS? QS is equal to 280 minus 80 which is equal to 200. Okay, now S Q S is 200 and I know the ratio, I know the values of B, C and C, D. I can apply the same steps as I did in the previous part of this answer. How to do it? Consider line Q B parallel to line R C parallel to line S D. Q B, R C, S D, these three parallel lines. Now, not to consider this. These are three parallel lines and these are the transversals. So, the ratio SR to QR is equal to ratio CD to BC. SR upon QR is equal to CD upon BC. Property of the parallel lines and their transversals. Okay, now as we did earlier, do component O. Okay, by component O we, have, we get SR plus QR upon QR is equal to CD plus BC upon BC reason we will write by component of. So, now SR and QR when added, SR and QR when added we get SQ. Okay? Therefore, QS or SQ is upon QR is equal to CD and BC when added, CD and BC when added we get BD, BD upon BC. Okay? The reason you know S dash, R dash, Q and d dash c dash b okay these are the collinear points now qs we got qs 200 here so put the values 200 upon qr we will get now so i will write qr as it is equal to bd bd is sum of bc and cd okay so bc plus cd upon i will write bc bc is how much 70 okay therefore i will get 200 upon qr is equal to BC plus CD 70 plus 80 70 plus 80 upon 70 so in the next step I get 200 now cross multiplying okay 200 into 70 is equal to QR into 150 so QR into 150 is equal to 200 into 70 so how to get QR QR is equal to 200 into 70 upon 150 cancel this 0 and this 0 I cut 5 table of 5 5 3 are 15 5 4 are 20 so now I have 70 4 which is equal to 280 upon 3 when I divide 280 by 3 I get a fraction but we will write the answer in the form of 280 upon 3 only. This is the second answer. QR. Okay. 280 upon 3. And how to find the third one? Now we got QR 280 upon 3 and we have to get SR. SR is nothing but Q, uh, uh, QS minus QR. Okay. So how to do it? So QS as you see QS is sum of QR and RS since R is a point between Q and S, Q dash, R dash, S. Put the values, QS, how much is QS? We know the value of QS, which is, if it is 200, we already found it. So, 200 is equal to QR, QR we got here, 280 upon 3, 280 upon 3, plus SR we have to find, SR is SR only, bring 280 upon 3 to that side, so, 200 minus 280 upon 3 is equal to SR. You know, I have to take here 
1 in the denominator, uh, numerator, uh, denominator, then I cross multiply. How to cross multiply? This, this as well as this way. So, 203 is are 600 minus 281 are 280 upon this also I have to multiply because it is, these two fractions are subtracted. Upon 3 is equal to SR. So, how much is SR? If you subtract 600 minus 200, so it is 400. Again, from 400, if you subtract 80, so it will be 320 upon 3 units. So, we get another a third answer that is SR. SR is equal to 320 upon 3 units, whereas QR is equal to 280 upon 3. And already we have got you know length PQ, PQ is 80 in the previous step. So, this entire sum, 8 sum is based on the property of 3 parallel lines and their transversals. Very easily done. Okay, either you write units or uh, not, it is all okay. Okay, we can write units here and this is how like you know the answers, is, answers are obtained. Now next sum, students. Sum number 9 and uh, sum number 12 are fill in the blanks type activity questions. So, I hope you will be able to do it. Everyone should do it since it is fill in the blanks type of activity questions. Now, sum number 10. In this question, in triangle ABC, they have said that bisectors of angle B and angle C of triangle ABC intersect in point X. Triangle ABC is there. Ray BX is the bisector of angle B, that means this angle and this angle are congruent. Ray CX is bisector of angle ACB, that means this angle and this angles are congruent. Line AX intersects on producing or ray. Line AX on producing mid side BC at point Y. We are given lengths of the three sides of triangle. Side AB is 5. Side AC is 4 and side BC is 6. 5, 4 and 6. They have asked us to find the ratio AX to XY. Ratio of segment AX to segment XY. Okay. Now since we have angle bisectors, immediately our mind should work in the direction of using angle bisector theorem or the property of bisector of angle of a triangle. So in the solution, we will write in triangle ABC, in triangle ABC, ray BX is bisector of bisector of angle B. Reason is given, right full form. Okay, BX is bisector of angle B. So, by angle bisector theorem, we have AX upon XY. Ratio AX to XY is equal to ratio a b to b y. Now, I will not explain you again and again how to write the ratio of the parts a, uh, a b upon b y. Okay. The reason is angle bisector theorem or property of angle bisector. Angle bisector theorem and result number 1. This is result number 1. Similarly, similarly, you know that, okay, in triangle ABC, ray CX bisects or is bisector of angle C. This is also given right full form. Now, again by angle bisector theorem, this angle bisector divides the, okay, I have taken wrongly triangle ABC. I should take triangle ABY in the first case, sorry, ABY in the first case and A, C, Y in the second case. Understand? Yeah, it, you have to be very careful because the bisector C, X divides the opposite side A, Y, not side A, B. A, B is the opposite side if you consider triangle A, B, C, but side A, Y is the opposite, F, opposite side of angle C if we consider triangle A, C, Y. So, very careful, be very careful. Okay, I made the necessary correction. So, raise CX by sex angle C is therefore, therefore by angle bisector property what we can write? AX upon XY 
एक्स अपन एक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू ए सी अपन ए सी अपन वाई सी और सी वाई रीजन एंगल बाई सेक्टर थियरम एंगल बाई सेक्टर थियरम एंड रिजल्ट नंबर टू दिस इज रिजल्ट नंबर टू ना वो डू वी सी इन रिजल्ट वन एंड टू दैट रेशो ए एक्स अपन एक्स वाई इज ए बी अपन बी वाई एंड सेम रेशो इज इक्वल टू ए सी अपन वाई सी सो ऑल द थ्री रेशोज आर इक्वल सो ए एक्स अपन एक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू द रेशो ए बी अपन बी वाई इज इक्वल टू द रेशो ए सी अपन वाई सी ओके दिस वी गेट फ्रॉम 